We're in Yonam today, and we're gonna eat the iconic salmon noodles before our coffee omakase, which is gonna be really interesting because I've never been to one. Aiki, show me your outfit because I like it today. Let me see. Ooh, very cool. <laughs> Looking things are from Jeju. What are they called exactly? What she said. Spa. Spa? <laughs> Take a bath. <laughs> Cheers. Peggy, how was the meal? Yum. Yum? Out of 10? Eight. Eight? The price is not good? The price or the place? Ah. <clears throat> About that place, I definitely wasn't convinced going in. I thought it was kind of like a tourist trap, but after having it, I highly recommend it. It was really good, actually. Salmon noodles. That is just uh, the macros on that thing. Insane. Right now we're heading to the coffee omakase. What is coffee omakase? Let's not get that mixed up for or with a coffee flight. It's not, it's, it's an omakase. They're gonna serve course by course. First thing he asked us when we walked in is how we found this place and the lady just told me that this place is actually very elusive. He doesn't promote it or oh. advertise the place. It's really sweet at the bottom, right? Mm. Yeah. It's like just sugar at the bottom, but he doesn't promote this place. This is like a, a meeting spot for business and if like a party comes in or a team comes in, then the whole place is closed and um, only caters to that that group. Um, yeah, this is this is like the epitome of a hole in the wall. And he also he's he's pretty funny. He said he doesn't promote the place because if you look at the prices, you'd think that they're pretty egregious. It's like ten to twenty dollars for um, a drink, but you know. Actually, there's a couple of coffee like. That he served here? It's like strawberry. He's like a master. He's a pioneer. This drink is his invention, and after I've mixed it, it tastes like wine literal wine. And in order to learn the entire technique, it takes about six months. And yeah, he's, this man is very knowledgeable. Blue bottle contacted him and Starbucks also contacted him. Blue bottle and Starbucks contacted him and offered him like one one franchise, I guess. But like, what kind of deal is that, right? You're giving up your invention for one franchise spot. So he obviously turned it down. But the door is closed. It's just the two of us in this whole joint. Next course is the hand drip coffee. I showed him my tattoo and he was like, I've never seen that before. It's really sick, you know, just being in the same space as someone who's also very passionate about something 
you're interested in that being coffee in this case. He's like Ah, uh, Blue Bottle wanted to like, you know, buy this. They wanted to buy this recipe? Mm. I wish I could speak Korean. Just a recap of everything that we've been talking about. Man, just hearing him speak, even though I don't understand what he's saying, you see his like, eyes light up because he's so passionate about what he's talking about. Yeah, just reminds me of myself when I'm talking about like, whether it be clothes or coffee or food or basketball or something like yeah um, he was saying how he loathes he loathes tasting notes because tasting notes aren't necessarily accurate because yeah, the taste can vary from person to person so that's why this doesn't have a tasting note and he's very against tasting notes um, but it tastes like it tastes like a tea it tastes like like a jasmine tea or like a milk tea without sugar. Really good. This man is extremely knowledgeable. He is a, a pioneer. He was, he was telling us about how um, he had an idea for making coffee uh, catered towards heavy smokers like himself. Especially like being on a long flight and not being able to smoke obviously. So he came up with the idea of making coffee that would elicit the same effects as smoking. Um, but for whatever reason, it's just not that profitable, targeting like airlines and stuff. But yeah, just the thought process, right? I mean, I've, I've, I wouldn't have thought of that. But yeah, just hearing his ideas and perspective it really aligns with my own and I've never openly said it but I do want to open a cafe one day and I want to make it very very special or something like one of one something very unique and yeah he's just giving me so many ideas and he just I think he cares more about the legacy he leaves behind than just making a profit, turning a profit. So, um, yeah, he, he used to serve the president, Poppy, for seven years. He's telling us how if you want to do something new and innovative, you have to target wealthy people because they're obviously willing to pay more and, you know, what is luxury, what is exclusivity, right? So there's so many things to consider. It's a very eye-opening conversation that we're having. I really wish I could speak Korean and understand and just like, you know, articulate my thoughts well. Lavender. Lavender? Oh wow. This next course looks insane. Chinese people love Hennessy, you can tell them that. Yeah, it's good. 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 It's 
crazy. There's no alcohol in it. It tastes just like Hennessy. This one's red wine, right? Red wine, but oh. She like, feels like I'm drinking a shot. Mm. Oh wow, the sommelier? Like mm. different wine. Uh, he was able to translate it into oh. the coffee, and a sommelier was able to still idea it. Mm. This one was really nice. Rose. Rose. He's showing us the technique right now, and look at what he's pouring into the coffee. Wow. That's fucking insane. We just got out of the coffee omakase and literally he closed the cafe after us. So the door was shut when we were in there and then he closed it, like closed it for the day. That was such a remarkable experience. I don't think I'll ever forget that. After drinking all that caffeine, I'm not feeling like jittery or shaky or like, you know, I feel really good. We're back at Han's room, but there's no filming, so talk to you later. That was an all-you-can-eat gochang. The price is lovely, so good, you know, just kept refilling. If you've never had intestines, I highly recommend it. I was skeptical, but trust me, it's fire, man. I still can't believe I'm out here. I'm having so much fun. Everything's so smooth and relaxing and this trip is just crazy balance. Getting work done, getting time to chill with the, the lady, you know, experiencing some new things. It's just vibing out here, you know? Puchi. open hi we just finished walking Gucci today is a spa day so we're gonna be at the spa all day just chilling you get me fun almost there literally at the airport it's in Incheon so it's far I don't know how many of you guys have watched singles inferno but this is the paradise city that was featured in that show we pulling up your the spot was featured you know what i'm saying We're done with the water park. The ice cream is such a nice way to end off the spot. 
That's a wrap for Seamer, Seamer, Spa Day. Seamer. 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 Showered, brushed my teeth, everything. Fresh. We just got back to uh, the home area and picked up my helmet duffel. So basically, this right here, you see where the stitching is right here? Wait, 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 one second. That broke off. So I had them redo it. So, you know, they just referenced this side and then redid it on this side. Pretty simple job, but, you know, this is my favorite bag, so I really wanted them to, you know, <laughs> make sure it was perfect. We picked up one of my favorite foods, kimbap. I love kimbap. Kimbap and tea, ooh, so good. And then right now we're waiting for some chicken. This isn't even dinner, this is just a snack. Yeah, I don't know, I was feeling really disgusting on the way back. I think just being on the bus, car sick, whatever, but it's such a nice evening and being in this area, it's so peaceful. Yeah. Look at that chicken. That's what I'm talking about. I don't need sauce or anything, just a little bit of salt. And we go on with it. Moment of truth. Oh yeah, that's sexy. Spread zero. Spread zero. We're back at this restaurant that I really like eating at. Everything that we ordered came out to $28. We just got out. I literally vacuumed that food. That was so good. So satisfying. First meal, breaking my fast with some tonkatsu. And tonkatsu is one of those foods that can be really good or really bad. And the last time I had it was the last time I was in Korea at that restaurant. I really don't eat tonkatsu because I've had too many bad experiences. We are in Bhutan right now. Gonna look at some cameras at this camera shop. Let's see if I find anything. Or even lens would be nice too. Throw it on this camera. These point and shoot film cameras? They're so cheap. It's like ten dollars. Ten bucks? Everything's functional? I guess, but there's no battery. Oh. There's a, this is a... Isn't this your camera right here? Similar? Yeah, I think this is the same song. No, where did you get this one from? He brought it over here. I want to get this. Oh. oh, wow. Interesting. Different role. The condition on this thing is insane though. How much mm. is this one? Like 50 something? 50 something? This is like 30 something, 38. I'm gonna get this one. It's all in piece. Sub timer. How'd you think? Flash. Yeah. 28mm에서는 그냥 광각으로 풍경 찍으면 되고. 50 표준? 80, 70은 인물형으로 이렇게 찍어주시면 되고요. 여기서 플래시 기능을 눌러서 끌 수가 있고, 켤 수가 있어요. 끄면 그냥 이렇게 보고 이렇게 찍는 거죠. 그다음에 to pick out a strap here? I mean, you can choose it. He said. Or if you don't I want can it. find the. If it's the same brand, that's fast. Just got out. 
free sticker and I got a new camera courtesy of the lady. Straps on there, lens. This is pretty lightweight. Pinta light. Yeah, is that go like what, two pounds? This was two like pound. 110, right? For everything. Mm. Yeah, sweet deal. Ah. This is the lady's new camera. I didn't even know there was a tambourine store here, but I need to pick something up for the late, for the OG actually. Just the uh, hand lotion. Just for one? Mm, I just need to grab one of these. One? Because I don't want to carry. Mm. We're going to go pick up some more film and then get some coffee before we head on to the next leg of our itinerary. Hano village area. That's why people are wearing humble, right? <laughs> so she's just making a coffee shop in her store. We just got um, our film and we're in the taxi right now. I've been wanting to sit in this taxi the whole time I've been here finally getting to sit in it this is the Hyundai Ionic 5 or 6 basically I just think this car looks really cool and I wanted to experience how it the drive feels and also just what it looks like inside so we are going to are we going exhibition I thought we were picking up watch first no exhibition first exhibition first this is the Yoshitoma Nara exhibition. I've never seen this art up close, only pictures of it, so I'm excited to see for myself. What do you think of the first floor? Big head. Big head? That was the exhibition. Now we're gonna do some shopping. I haven't really done any shopping, but there's a new store that I wanna show you guys. So let's share the experience. The store is called ASIM and they carry Margella, SA, CDG. This whole rack is this way. We just left. Uh, the store had a bunch of Issei and Margiela, but it wasn't like a whole lot. And they had a lot of other brands that I just wasn't interested in. But all in all, definitely worth a visit. We got some drinks just to freshen up. We're heading to Gangnam to pick up my vintage watch, the Movado. It's finished being serviced, so kind of pick it up. Moment of truth, let's see. Time to go home. Did a lot today. The watch is all fixed. The watchmaker said that there was a couple pieces in the movement that were broken. So he fixed one part, but the other one, uh, he couldn't find that, that part. Couldn't find that part because he couldn't, it's, it's just an old watch. So, but he offered to make it, 
but that would also be very expensive. So just gonna service it every five to six years and keep using it. Before we go out and drink wine tonight at the lake, we're eating our dinner and watching a movie. I got malatang, kobaro, Eggie's got the malashanko, and then we are watching this movie, Ballerina. Let's get her fucking corner, how about that, yeah? <laughs> Oh. Bought this bottle of wine from Chicago and this is one of my favorite bottles. This is a very deep red, high tannins. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I think I first had this maybe a few years ago. It's one of my favorites. My local wine shop always has this one available. We're drinking wine front of the lake the view is pretty nice here didn't want to go to like Han River um, just because well, one we've experienced that already and then two after getting a little wine in our system it's a nuisance you know getting on the train and riding back for like however long it takes Seriously, this wine is delicious. Do you remember having this? Yeah. That's such a nice view. And then it's kind of cool out. This is less than half left. Making our way. Um, making our way through this wine. This bottle of wine, it's one of those wines where in the beginning it's kind of subtle. It's like you know, the flavors haven't completely hit you yet. And then halfway through, it's so juicy and so deep and just can't stop drinking it. So that's why I really like this wine. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think that's just like a, a thing that we have to deal with in America where we can't drink outside on the streets or at the park and stuff like that. But, I want to say in most of the Asian countries, it's okay, right? I know in J Japan, I know Japan. Japan, I was drinking like pretty much anywhere, walking really? and drinking, like whatever. Like they have vending machines with beer on the street. Ooh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was just telling the lady like, it's vibes out here. It's vibes tonight in front of this lake. Beautiful view. Beautiful vi uh, wine. And um, the dog. Gucci's Beautiful. here. Even though she wants to go home for the company yeah i mean just wanted to chat with you guys and just like yeah this it's like a bittersweet moment because we've been talking about coming to the lake and drinking wine and we put it off until now and this is you know this moment just reminds me that the trip is coming to an end and it's time to go back to the states back to chicago and you know but all good things have to come to an end and I'll obviously find my way back here again and I need to be grateful and you know the lady's going to the states yeah, and the lady will be in the states soon <laughs> um, but yeah just just need to be grateful and, and I feel so blessed being able to come to Korea not once but twice in one year that is just insane and being able to do what I can do here um, not like touristy stuff but like as a local, you know, I'm moving different out here. You get me from, but yeah, we're gonna finish the wine and call it a night. It's currently 8.24. We're going to Everland. All right, all changed. Look at this, the fit, school uniform. I don't know what that says. And then Aggie's outfit and her sister. 
<웃음> They're twinning the shoes too. I was like, this is light work. And then the ride started turning up. And it was pretty funny because all these little kids are on the ride like, ah, oh, she bites! Screaming. But no, that was a perfect first ride. There was like a group of girls behind us and one of them started crying. And then the other girl was like, this bitch is crying right now. <laughs> that should have me rolling. No cutting. Just some hands, right? Panda on the shoulder. Huh? We're gonna go see some live animals, safari world, bears, lions, tigers. It was such a sick experience being so close to a bunch of lions and tigers and bears. That's closer than you can ever get at any zoo. So we're going to Panda World and this was created because Pubao was born in Korea. First panda to be born in Korea. These pandas are from China. This is Pubao? Yeah. Waited this long for Pubao just to be sleeping. Who sleeps like that? Fastest five minutes ever. Barely got to see anything. Fuba was like knocked out. We skipped the line again because we have a reservation. Look at this line. I'm so glad that I stretched, otherwise my neck was gonna snap off. Part of me is uh, proud of myself because I've never been on a proper roller coaster, but at the same time, I averaged like 15 oh my gods and like 20 holy shits. Good afternoon, good evening. I don't know, it's like 4.30 right now. We're in the SNU Seoul National University area. I'm gonna do some skin treatments before I leave. Today's my last day in Korea. 
just because my face is gonna be super red afterwards. Six and seven, four. They just washed my face and then now getting rid of some sebum because I won't be able to wash my face for a few days. And then they're gonna put on the numbing ointment. This is the numbing cream. How are you feeling? My face is so numb right now. I can't feel anything. You're glad she changed the doll? Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Hurting? No, I don't feel anything. Oh, it's the point of you. Yeah, she said it's gonna hurt. Is this one also painful? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's, it's gonna be quick, this one. Because it's just a machine. Oh, is it? Two Two What was that? This is a micro No, no, no wrinkle. Are you crying? It's so bad. Oh no, I'm looking at that. Okay. Fighting. The next. What's next? The rejuvenation shot. Shot? Or shots? Shot, yeah. Gosh. Are you okay? Ladies and gents, take care of your skin so you don't have to deal with this. Here's my prescription. I used to use this one. Yeah, in Japan. Alright, we just picked up the prescription. We we went to three, physically went to three pharmacies and then called like another three or four because they didn't have it. It's all out. All out. This is Epiduo Forte. So I use the same formula, a generic version that my dermatologist in the state prescribes. And with insurance, I think it's like $60 for one of these pumps. Without, it's like 400 so the doctor that did my skin treatments funny fact she's actually the doctor that went to the music festival with us and was the one that almost won a g-wagon she said that epidural forte is much cheaper here so i grabbed three of these for a grand total of 123 dollars which is just a steal yeah she prescribed epidural forte to me so i got the name brand shit for name brand this is the name brand one epidural forte oh you want me to use it this one right Huh? Yeah, the one I use is the oh, generic. This is the name brand? This is the name brand one. How much is it then? I think this one's like over 400 without insurance. What about with insurance? With insurance, probably like 100, I don't know, something like that. Oh my God. Yeah, it's insane. Anyway, I want to talk about the skin treatments and obviously it's a little it's a little weird talking about skin treatments when like my skin obviously isn't the best. That's like listening to a uh, fitness influencer who's like out of shape you know telling you how to get in shape but yeah I that was that was this very is really painful scar treatment. yeah scar treatment is what I did because I have ice pick scars and I have rolling scars so last time the rejuvenate injections already had me crying this time that was the easiest one the I think it's called the ultra cell Oh my god, the ultracell feels like someone takes a stapler and then just like presses it against your face, but instead of two entry points like a staple, it's like eight clustered together. 
and she's doing that repeatedly all over my face and that's the same effect as like a micro needling but I've done micro needling and this one's way more painful even with all the anesthesia that was put on my face but yeah literal tears not no Hollywood shit you know I'm a grown ass man so the fact that I was crying just like you can imagine how painful that was and the last thing I'll say um, is this and I just came up with this analogy myself your skin is like your GPA you know it's very easy to drop it's very easy to, to worsen you know you get lazy you don't want to clean your face you don't want to remove the makeup you don't want to put on sunscreen that day you want to eat like shit whatever it's easy for the skin to get worse but it's hard as hell to build it back up just like a GPA and sometimes you can do irreversible damage like scarring which is just a bitch to get you know treatment for so the moral of the story is to get plenty of sleep drink plenty of water eat a balanced diet exercise do you know start early invest in your skin so you don't have to do this you don't have to endure all this pain all this pain it didn't come for free you know you gotta pay an arm and a leg for it too the results are definitely worth it so pretty much every time i come back to korea i'm gonna have to do this say thank you to Shinbi. thank you to nuna for picking me up thank you to the doctor she hooked it up with the discount and also that was tax free so it's pretty clutch and then also just the epidural forte so shout out to her for my last meal in Korea we are eating samgyeopsal which is one of my favorite meals and this place the lady and her sister really wanted to take me to because like the whole table is like a stone top for grilling the samgyeopsal so let's check it out Something really unique about the kimchi bokumbap here is that they roll it like rolled ice cream. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's actually, it's not kimchi bokumbap, just bokumbap. Just bokumbap. Igu buyo? Nurungji. Say nurungji. Nurungji? I know this. The lady and her sister told me I gotta chill on showing you guys all these spots because it's gonna turn into all of the used to be local neighborhoods for example like Hongdae or like Itaewon or like Songsu and then the tourists pour in or not tourists but like foreigners pour in and just kill the whole vibe but to that my answer is what's the saying you can bring a horse to the pond but you can't teach the horse to drink water so you're saying it again <laughs> I'm giving you guys all the spots I'm giving you guys the blueprints but there will not be any hand holding the rest is up to you guys to figure out how to get to these spots you know Google Translate is your friend but that was a very proper meal we even asked if they did anything to the pork belly because it was so like just deep in flavor you know but they're like, they didn't do anything. That's just the quality of the meat, you know, shining. So, the proper final meal in Korea. Gucci, I gotta leave. Hmm? Gucci, I gotta leave. I'll be back. Hmm? Today is the day. Heading back to the States. Here's a little skin update. It's not itchy or anything. It's a little red, but not nothing too crazy. I think my face has been more red before. Annyeonggucci. My 
last taxi in Korea and it's the car that I like sitting in. It's nice. This one's nicer than the other one that we sat in. Mm. It's a, I don't know if they can see, but it's raining very lightly. We have a saying that if it rains, it means that that place is gonna miss you. So Korea's gonna miss me. Mm. Evidently, because it's raining as I'm leaving. Some closing thoughts. This trip was a success. I hadn't seen the lady in like nearly like somewhere between five and six months. A little over five, but not quite six months, which is the longest we've gone without seeing each other. So, conquered long distance. And yeah, I feel like I just did a lot here. The lady chirps at me and says I bring a lot of chores to Korea, which is kind of true because, you know, haircut, facial treatments, the watches, um, etc. So, but I will be back and again, just so grateful to be able to come here twice in one year and be able to do what I can do here um, as a foreigner. You know, I'm not doing like touristy shit. I'm doing like what a local, what a local would be doing. So that's a wrap for Seoul 2023 Part Two.